Hi team, this is Florian from MyPearl again, and I want to demonstrate another steel detailing solution. We are in Navisworks, and uh, let's pretend we have a Navisworks model, and we want to turn this Navisworks model into, well, into shop drawings. Absolutely right. So um, the common way is, well, that we take these models, or when we have drawings, we trace them, and, well, it takes a bit of our time, especially, uh, when we select here the one or the other object, like Entity 314, we'll find that we actually have no information at all what we're actually dealing with. So let's see what some of the other ones could answer the other entities. So um, we see that all these entities, literally, they have no information actually for us what it actually is. But we want to actually turn this model out of Nervousworks now into an advanced steel model without any rework, just with a few mouse clicks actually. So I hope that I'll have your attention because I believe it's uh, a daily business, that's daily, uh, that's a daily issue, I may literally say. And I found a wonderful cool tool here. I found literally a tiny dream tool here. It's called here called iConstruct. So with iConstruct, we have the option to go down and find somewhere our smart DWG exporter configuration. Click on this and we can select here a name for our template. Let's call it export to advanced deal. And we want to save this template, load it in, and then export our geometry. And of course, you have probably drawn now the map. Then we use our from solid to object we developed here at APAL. So next step is that we have our export objects as solid 3D. We want to keep, um, I believe it's metric, somebody told me. And uh, so the measurement shall be metric. Um, do you want to keep any color data? Well, we don't have any data, it would be lovely. Do you want to keep it as one layer? Yes. So let's save this whole thing. And then uh, let's uh, close this thing. So we have here our smart DWG exporter. I did just load in afterwards. And when we export this, save this here as a, yeah, as a DWG file. So uh, let's call it export from Nervousworks. Okay. And then we save it. So we have about our 400 objects we're exporting. It generates it now, turns it into solids. And fantastic, sounds like a plan. And then all what we need to do is we would need to, yeah, fire up advanced deal and see what we can do with this. Back in advanced steel. So this is the model I've just exported from Nervousworks with the help of iConstruct. And so if you don't know about iConstruct, check out the website. If you don't have it, get it. Super simple and easy. It is. It helps you a lot. And so what we want to do now is um, we want to take here our solids it actually has nicely exported and turned them into steel sections. Okay, so for this we have our from solid to object as our command available. We can pick it and um, well in the meantime actually it got also a tiny file dialog in case you have specified any databases for particular projects and just speeds up the process and enhances a little bit the accuracy and we want to do actually what we want to do boundary yes this is what we want to do so this boundary options let's see maybe we want to have here ten section a bit of accuracy and uh, then we can select it select our objects and then let the computer do the tracing work actually for us all right Okay, so very good, very good. So, and then we should probably see here that we have a 380 PFC. Yep, from Nervousworks. Super easy. <laughs>